consumes you. In the America, Jesus Christ, was the Nazareth, may we decrease as you increase. Tata, in Tawoyako, in our midst, Nanam Shanj, and go say, well, and mean is Yashabele and Tawoye, Siti Tata, in Tawoyako, in our midst, who she is in Lako, what Uma Shangene, Sibabilis Matato, who call Nana. We thank you, God, saying, well, we welcome you this day. We say, take all glory, take all honor, be glorified, be glorified. We thank you, Lord Jesus. May we all give the Lord a shout and a clap as we take our seats in the name of Jesus. Lord, a clap as we take our seats. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He is so glorious. Amen. Hallelujah. He is so glorious today. I just see him radiating. Amen. And I'm so grateful about what he will do. Amen. You would have noticed in your life in the past few days there was a bit of discord a bit of overwhelming a bit of in emotional instability uh, that is because whenever the lord will radiate upon a person satan makes it his mission in that point in time to thwart that which the lord would like to do amen but I am standing here today and I'm saying to you, whatever the Lord is going to do today, it will not miss you. He, he, he will touch each and every person today in the name of Jesus. Maybe in the next 20 minutes you'll believe me. I see you still. The Lord will touch each and every person today. He will radiate. He will come upon us. He's already beginning to. You know, the Bible says uh, the Holy Spirit came, came upon Mary and she conceived Jesus. Amen. Mary did not know a man. It was, she was impregnated by the Spirit coming upon her. So whenever the Holy Spirit comes upon a person, they become pregnant in the Spirit. Hallelujah. There are certain things the Lord wishes to conceive. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus that you may perceive it and that it may not miss you. Hallelujah. Special greetings once again to the pastors, uh, to the fathers, the mothers, all the elders of the house in Jesus' name. A special greetings to the Banda family. Amen. You are so welcome at Kingdom Ambassadors Network. It's an honor to have you. Amen. We honor Pastor Isaac and Sister Ntlantla. Amen. <laughs> Why do we honor them? Amen. Can a second child, think about it, can a second child come out of a womb unless there was a first child? No. That means there must be a child, the first person to open the womb. Thereafter, other children can. So they've opened the womb for marriage at Ken. That's why I honor them. Amen. There's something them coming together is going to do in the spirit. It's already happening. I see Ken as, as, as an organization here, Jesu, pregnant in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be greeted. Amen. Hallelujah. On Friday, we had the premiere of our first short film by Ken Production entitled The Narrow Gate. Amen. Who was here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was laughing. I kept reposting, you know, the link to the YouTube. If you are, if you are not here and you haven't seen the movie, please, it's on our YouTube channel. That's the poster. Even the executive producer is on the poster. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, uh, it is already, um, it's uploaded and published 
on our YouTube channel. Uh, the channel is Ken underscore international. But if you type on YouTube, Ken international, we are going to pop up. Remember to subscribe, to like, to comment, and to tune in. Uh, movie. Amen. I was reposting the link on social media, and many people kept saying, really, those three boys don't thank me. Thank the faithful tithers. Oh, my gosh. That line has, has left with people. Amen. That line has left with people. I encourage you, please watch it. Amen. Please share it, especially with saints you know have backslidden. Uh, and with every saint, because you'll think they haven't backslidden, but they have, including yourself. This movie isn't for unbelievers, it's for you. Amen. Then by the extension of the grace of God, we will extend it to others as well. Outside, even unbelievers. Praise God. Amen. A pastor T, as she was ministering announcements, she mentioned that we have a, a family picnic on the 4th of November. It will be at my house in my backyard. Amen. I think the space is big enough. Um, this is the church thanking the saints. Amen. So we don't contribute here. We don't do anything. We just show up ready to eat and have fun. Amen. Um, the saints have been so faithful in pledging. Amen. When I tell people we only started in February, eight months ago, they're like, it's not possible. Amen. Did you guys get like a check and you did everything? No, we didn't. It's just the faithful saints. Amen. So this is the church thanking you. I know there's a gala dinner, but there we have to contribute. So that is beautiful. But this is on the church. This is on Ken. Amen. And we just want to sit and reflect on the year, uh, talk, allow everybody an opportunity to speak if they wish, and just have love. Amen. And just have agape bangwele. So because this is about Ken. Each person, oi ambassador, mele abe kona with their family. Amen. It's open. You can invite your family, and it will just be an amazing day. Praise God. Uh, I wanted to wear green today, but I just thought it won't look good on the pictures when I'm standing with Isaac and Santa. But the reason I wanted to wear green is because did somebody watch the game last night? Did somebody watch the game? <laughs> you know, Sis Lung. <laughs> I wasn't watching the rugby, if I can be honest. Okay, I was not. Last night, I heard, the you know, it's semi-finals. And I'm like, okay, let me go. Then Asha Jess is watching it. She's like, oh, no, ma. Yeah, bet it's all. And I'm like, oh, no. You know, hey, okay. This is why I don't like sports because ooh, ooh, you get disappointed. You are born. Then all of a sudden, hey, bo, the box start doing something. I started screaming like a little girl. Jess and Tobega were there. I took, literally, I was sitting on the cushion. I pulled it. And I'm like, go, box, go, go. And Jess is just like, hey, bo, prophet. I was so vested. Then only 15 minutes I watched. I was so vested. I was the biggest supporter. But before then, I didn't even know what was happening. But the point is, it's such a good thing. Amen. When you see, I was looking at Bebe, Guyama adverts during halftime. Uh, there are black people, white people, Indian people, all races together under one cause. Amen. Oh, how marvelous it is when people dwell together in unity. Amen. So it's absolutely amazing. And Aswine uh, Bangwele, amen. Aswine, amen. Best winner. I'm just thinking, why am I putting myself under pressure, unprovoked? Amen. But as we then, if you don't have your top, your rugby t-shirt, definitely, please get it. Amen. And we will watch the game song. Amen. Unless it's on a Kingdom Sunday, then you can't watch it. Sorry. You'll catch the repeat. But if it's not on a Sunday, wherever you are, whenever the final is, let us watch it and let us back uh, our country. Amen. Alright, I think those are the announcements for today. Today I will be quite short. Amen. Budlandu, please help me. Amen. I feel like sort of an evangelist. I'm reminded of my days about 10 years ago where we would be singing give me J and amen. So, so help me. Assist me. Amen. Today I would like us or let me begin my discourse like this. Who has read the four Gospels? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Who has read them? 
Okay, or at least one of them, not all, but at least one, you've read them. Okay, you would understand by the authority of Scripture, no Sipo, that Jesus starts speaking about certain subjects in the Gospels. Amen. And those subjects are what are in the compendium is what is termed as the gospel. Amen. Uh, in Greek, the original word is evangelion or uh, your angelion, which means good news. Amen. Which means good news. We know that, right? So, and the gospel, fortunately or unfortunately, or one of the topics of the broader gospel is salvation. Now, if I were to ask you, what is good news? You would say it's the message that Jesus says. Amen? I want to propose to you that that is just one level. There are seven dimensions of the gospel. There are seven different messages. When put together, they are called the gospel. And the Lord is interested in us not only knowing that he saved us. That is preliminary. And that is step one. Amen. But there are other six dimensions of the gospel. Praise God. You, you, you know he saved you. You know you are going to heaven one day. But you are living in poverty. Amen. Oh, you are not living in poverty. You but you don't know your purpose. Do, do you think if, if the whole point of the gospel was to go to sin this and go to heaven, I can guarantee by the time Upa Mrs. and you confess and you believe, immediately you'll be translated into glory. If the only purpose was that you go to heaven. But there are certain errands Jesus would have us run for him here. And unfortunately, the message of the gospel has been presented at a preliminary level. There are other dimensions a believer needs to ascend into. appeal their full purpose here on earth. Oh my God. The same way God has a plan for your life, for your life, Satan also has a plan for your life. And the imbalance, mamkuma linkinga, uguti plan yang kulungulu for our lives. People who are preachers have stood and said, "Oh, Jesus, for no sin this way. Okay, sin sin this way. Yeah, God has sin this way. We are going to go to foot to sin this way. Oh, and that's where the plan appears to stop. E yang kulungulu plan gempilo yako. Go to Satan e yaki plan gempilo ya gempi plan ya keng gempilo yako. I pay la putu ma sin this way. He continues. It. I transgress with Satan. I ascend. Um, Satan doesn't stand and say, Okay, if you plan and put on what is in this one, Minagan gets on us in this one. What in a fabulous stop now? What is in this one? Yenu ya kube what to end us in this way? Pose with Joanna. Must suppose who try and sleep around. Must sleep around. Want to kill yourself. Must go and deal ahead people. Uh, the, 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 the message of Satan is progressive. But salvation. So, so today, Gifuna spoke the different dimensions of the message of the gospel. Back to our gospel, the evangelion, on the good news. Actually, on to Jesus, we are seeing this appeal, but there are different facets. Amen. So that as believers, we can start transitioning and ascending to the highest stature as the gospel demands. Amen. Are you with me today? The first type of gospel is what is termed the gospel of salvation. Is what is termed the gospel of salvation. Go to John chapter 3 verse 16. The gospel of salvation is the pillar, the foundation. There is no other message within the gospel unless Ukalela. That's why uh, no matter how good-hearted you are, no matter how many good deeds or wins are, you, you have not transitioned into the stature of Christ. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That is the first type of gospel, that God gave his son, and whomsoever believes shall not perish, but shall have eternal life. Now, perish there doesn't mean just death. It means the second death after judgment day, which is the lake of fire. Amen. Uh, now, uh, now, how do you, what is the core message of this gospel of salvation? It's this, that God gave his son, and whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. How do you believe in him biblically? In Romans chapter 10, verse 9, the Bible is clear. Amen. Help me, help me, media. That if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Oh, Jesus, we are called up in the phone. Amen. So this is the first level the Lord is interested in us attaining to. I've been in a couple of crusades. And before I pray for the sick, I am interested to find out what I want Wage wa mvuma yini ngobe tiligalu ngakazi umvume ukuthi uthole a gospel of prosperity kodwa ungamvuma ngiqalwa la ngokumvuma This is the gospel that says nina ngena mali you can come and buy this is the gospel la u Jesu ethi and all you who are weary and heavy laden I will give you rest that is the preliminary message of the gospel if you've never heard this gospel and because of its one vumu jesu today i will give you an opportunity in the next 15 minutes but young elenteng so ifundisa when i was book seven zero nga kalanga wa mvuma go buya kolo avunywe buya kolo jesu avunywe aga vunywa njengo msindisi uvunywa njenge nkosi and not as Lord. Romans 10 9 doesn't say if you confess he's a savior. It says if you confess he is Lord. But if he's a savior, you don't owe him any allegiance. But if he is a Lord, you start living for him. This is the first level. Some some people Bagabam Vuma. As a savior, there, there, there's no scriptural basis. Then you will be saved. Then he becomes your savior. is a savior. The, the reason believers believe they have Jesus in their hearts, uh, but they live anyhow, is because they know him as a savior, a person who bails them out when they are in trouble. Abamaz as a Lord. Into the pilelwa yo. O Jesus ya pilelwa. O munda puzu tra na atu Jesus ya understand. Aga understand. Inkinga ya ko umfuma jengo msindisi. A umfuma ngajenga ngos. He speaks and you do as he has spoken. Inkosi does not speak and it's a debate you say, but. I grew up in a village where there were chiefs. Oh, mother, chief has spoken. Everybody, there would be no debate. There would be no transgression. Sit I go to understand. No, you understand. For the reason you sin and you don't understand Jesus, you must be genuine. Sin this, ah, you change and goes. Who Jesus fooled you and change and goes? This is the woman I'm changing. The gospel of salvation. That's one. Two, the gospel of victorious living. That is the second dimension of the gospel. The gospel of victorious living. Where you live above trials as sustained by the Holy Spirit. It's called the gospel of victorious living. This doesn't mean that in everything you do, you are.
are victorious and you don't have problems, this gospel, what it teaches is that notwithstanding problems, you live above problems by the help of the Holy Spirit. In other words, Uma in Kingas Hampaglevel, when you must ascend, Umenga Peswa. So, so even when they come, they miss you. The gospel of victorious living, amen, is helped by the Holy Spirit. So here you enjoy any trial. You, you still say, I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loved me. You, you, you live victoriously. Even when you can, in your heart, you know I am victorious. Even when there's a bit of financial constraint, you know I am victorious. victorious. In the victory of the Shunammite woman, a Shunel Wingane, Umuela Shambus, who to write it, who to go to Kambagas, or to Shunel Wingane, or to go to Kambagas. Long Zalone had tapped into the gospel of victorious living. Go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. And I'm going to move on. This is Paul writing to the church in Philippi. He says, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say again, rejoice. Now, you will say, okay, shoot it, Paul. That's why he says this. It would interest you to know, Mamiya, that Paul writes to the Philippians in prison. He was in chains in a prison cell. Remember, Pile, he was waiting trial and they wanted to slaughter him. But as a jail, starving, tired, weary, he writes to the Philippians. This is someone, ay, 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 ay. this is someone who says, I see the chains, but even in the chains, I will rejoice because he's still sitting on the throne. If you've ever studied the book of Philippians, you understand, sis. He says it's very good that I was imprisoned and chained because through my chains the prison guard has come to the Lord. What does that mean? As a lawyer, I will tell you if Nick are accusing a person, there must be evidence and laws that accuse this person. So when the Jews accused Paul, they brought out the Holy Scriptures and they said he has transgressed the Holy Scriptures by saying a certain man named Jesus is God. Now what the, what results then had is that he judged and the accusers he judged he has transgressed the holy scriptures that say there's only one God. He calls a man named Jesus a God. He judged history says as the judge was Starting the scriptures, he started being convicted. Oh, indeed, Paul is right. Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Lord. This man is bound. What does he mean? But he is worthy to be praised. They have stopped this man. What about Shada? Da 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 da. Rejoice in the Lord. In the history, when they saw that, even those soldiers gave their life to Christ. So by Paul being imprisoned, not only did that the church come to Christ, not only did the soldiers guarding him come to Christ, even the city came to Christ by his chains. Do not despise chains. Do not despise being bound. There's a reason for it. But you just need to enjoy, enjoy, and rejoice. Always rejoice. When you've got some money, rejoice. When you've got no money, rejoice. When you are crying, rejoice. When you are laughing, you keep rejoicing. The gospel of 
victorious living when you know you are victorious it doesn't matter you know in your heart you are victorious as held by the Holy Spirit the third type of gospel is the gospel of prosperity it's a gospel Bangwele. it's not a demonic teaching it's a gospel Jesus taught about prosperity the gospel of prosperity go to Genesis 26 corner let's see a corner Satan is Genesis 26, verse 12. The gospel of prosperity is the covenant between God and man as administered through Abraham and subsequently Jesus. It, it stems from uh, Pastor Isaac, the fact that it, the gospel of prosperity, it comes from the Old Testament. It stems from the fact that man was made insufficient. Man was only sufficient in the presence of God, which is what the Garden of Eden was. It was a presence of God. It was an atmosphere of God. That's why Adam was sufficient. He only became insufficient when he transgressed the good commands of the Lord and he was removed from the garden. Then he became an insufficient man that needs God. So what the Israelites would do eh, eh, no see, is that because they understood that it is only God who is wholly sufficient, I am insufficient. They called him El Shaddai. That is the name of God, El Shaddai. What does El Shaddai mean? So in the original Hebrew, it means a multi-breasted person. If I need some money, there's a breast to provide. If I need healing, God has a breast to provide. If I need some encouragement, there's a breast to help me. It's the multi-breasted one in God. There is all sufficient in Him. We move, we live, we have our being. There's nothing we could need that is outside the sufficiency of God. In God, all things live. In God, things all move. In God, all things live. They expand. They find sufficiency. The gospel of prosperity, it's not premised on living excessively luxurious uh, just for personal gain. Uh, uh, it's on the basis that there is never a need you would have that God cannot supply. Then Isaac sowed in the land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold and the Lord blessed him. The man began to prosper. The man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. The, the, the word then, the original text, prosper means to be great and zeleni. It means on the way. Greatness on the way. So prosperity is a journey. The gospel of prosperity. God is happy. You understand the gospel of salvation. was He's happy. You now have a mindset of victorious living, notwithstanding the trials. He now wants you to prosper. He wants you, like Isaac, to plant in the same year a crop. It yields a hundredfold. It's the dimension of the gospel. The Lord said he's releasing in this season. He's releasing. Shokodole. The action of prosperity. Why? Because prosperity honors God and it influences people. You need money. You need prosperity. You need well-being. And the prosperity is not limited just to money. It's an atmosphere of advancement. It's an atmosphere. And I pray you prosper as your soul prospers. In the soul there is the mind. Your mind must prosper first and you will follow. The gospel of prosperity. He blesses the works of our hands. When you hear scriptures like that, Everything he touches prospers. When you hear scriptures like that, know that is part of the gospel or the good news of prosperity. The fourth gospel 
is the gospel of corporate function. The gospel of corporate function. Lana gesek tua yebo susin de siwe. Yebo victoriously, you are victorious in your mind. And yes, now you've stepped into prosperous living. But now you need to be in a corporate. Aye kindeti, I left church. I didn't leave Jesus. It's impossible because the church is part of Jesus. But puma um zimbawake, you can't be a part of him. You you can't be. I don't need to go to church. If I believe the church is his body, he's the head. If I can I help you sign up to a local church? Because there's an anointing in corporate function. Go to Matthew 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. It is a promise. It's a gospel that promises us. You've been praying for something I ain't taking. Two or four ten others. Because the presence of God is secured. I am hurt, so I'll just, I need time alone. Let me tell you, nothing happens. One can chase a thousand, but two, ten thousand. The word church means a clergy, a parliament. God expected us to gather. And we pray until our candidate, Ione Patayo, two or three touch and agree, the Lord shall do it. If I believe there was a man named Peter. He was a mighty apostle, but he was chained up. He was imprisoned. Bam tata bam faka in the prison cell, Butlandi. Where now this is a mighty apostle. This is a man a little pipeli. Bezula people would put the lame and sick in his shadow, and even his shadow would heal. He would command demons, and millions and millions of demons would scatter around. This was a powerful man, but Umesebo. Even his prayers don't get him out. In them keep little Bible in Acts chapter 6. The church was praying 12. The church was praying. The church was making intercession for him. As the church gathered, the Lord sent an angel, angelic reinforcement, and the angel freed Peter from the prison. Why couldn't the mighty apostle free himself? It's because over and above your own anointing, there's an anointing when two or three are gathered. Um, Jesus is enough and he is enough but I'm meluting he's enough pale of a full stop you must say Jesus alone is enough comma but he expects you to be part of his body his body is found in the four walls of a church but there are things in your life that will not happen unless you have come into the corporate action this is a jot high let me help you there are certain dimensions you have not even dreamed of reaching because you have no angelic reinforcement angelic reinforcement biblically is not enforced by a man it's enforced by prayers of a corporate into heaven and the heavens release angelic support the gospel of corporate function. Imagine if among well could come together, even politically, even economically in South Africa, and say the economy must no longer plummet, it must now ascend, and we pray together in one mind, one voice, one accord, even the trajectory of the economy would be transformed. Over when two or three touch and agree, it shall be done. 
being at the home where it is not sufficient. The fifth gospel is the gospel of the high calling. Can someone just check? There's a young sweetheart there outside alone. Oh, umawakukon, apologies. Umawakukon, okay. The gospel of the high calling in Christ. That's the fifth type of gospel the Lord wants us to ascend to. The gospel of the high calling in Christ. This is premised on the authoritative a command of the Lord that every person has a calling in Christ personal administration given to each and everyone to better serve the kingdom of God because the father and mother decided to be intimate breathing and living is a person the Lord had ordained assignment you knew me when I was in my mother's Womb. Oh, David, in Mahu 139. Oh, before I was even born, you knew all the days of my life. It means even before figure them shabani, there's a scroll pertaining to your life. Oh, to David in Psalm 139. All the days of my life are written in my book that you have pertaining my life. Oh, every person here has a book. Now Jehovah wa paluguti. Unom tandazo will glorify me. Anje when he finished the book. He planted you carefully in your mother's womb. So you are here on assignment. You are not here on earth to get saved and go back to heaven. Then what a waste. You should have just stayed in heaven. You are here on assignment. You are here to run an errand for God. I do not care where you think you are from. Let me tell you the Lord is calling you today. Umuti, you have a personal call. There's an errand. There's an assignment. God expect you to do for him and you cannot attain the highest level of the gospel unless you get to this point when you know what you are called for many believers just know you think you are called here to have a beautiful family and just be happy until you go to heaven. Let me help you. There is a personal assignment the Lord would have you to do. There is a personal assignment. Hey, I do not know even if you were a child of incest or a child of rape. Let me tell you something. Umulunkulu used Daniel. Umuntu was imprisoned, taken captive by a foreign god. God still used that person. Um, seven days in the apostolic intercession to pray for liberty for those in uh, Babylon and little by belly they were eventually set free do you know why the Lord has called you it's a gospel it's in the Bible and the Lord Jesus would help you to know what he has called you for if you do not know we'll pray just now together you, you, you will need to know why he brought you here. What a waste. Then why bother? There, there, there's an errand. In 2023, I will need it fulfilled. And you know what? A Malibuto is the man for the job. So let me plant her in the womb of a mother. 2023, MSA ready to do this thing for me. The gospel of the high calling. Let's go to scripture, Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. Ukulumu Paul, he says, again he's in chains. He's writing to the church in Philippi. He's in chains. And this is what he says. He says, I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God. I know I am in chains, but I press on to my calling. I know I am hungry and in lack, but I press on to the calling. I know I'm in pain right now. I'm so but I press on towards the call. My God, I know I may be confused. People are leaving me left, right, and center. But this one thing I'll do I'll press on. I'll press on towards the call for the prize of the upward calling. Everyone here is called upward. You're calling Vele Zulu in 
and pray and say, Lord, what is my call? And You need to know why you are here. Why did the Lord bother bringing you here on earth? What is it? What had he ordained for you? You need to, yes, to see the sea. Well, that's the first gospel. Yes, now you understand you are victorious in him. Second gospel is good. Yes, now you are participating in prospect. It's very good. Now you need to know why he has called you. Why are you here? He did not bring anybody here. Song is your shot. Esila. If I pelali shuguti, a few the 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 fivefold ministry will be the bride, and and the rest of the church will be bridesmaid. Uti, the whole church is my bride. Makoti, we are bega yini kubo ya koyom shayom shato. Abanya masai tinge tolo ma bagaya suguti chani. Abanya sebe itoni le oti ngoli le sameli washwe. Abanya sebe washi ya oti na marinkels mele ba aine. Abanya sebe koga kota they need a corporate function we faster. Do you know your calling now? Ok bizelen. Ok bizelen. Um shadu yeza. Uthu Paul in First Thessalonians chapter five. Uthi. When men are eating as normal, others are drinking as normal, others are laughing as normal, we will hear the loud trumpet, a sound of a trumpet, and Jesus will come into the clouds, and he will come, Allah demands Allah, okay, his bride, and the question is, Mr. Edland, will you be wearing your wedding dress? Your wedding dress is your calling. We are going to go no mu yobu konge zomsa ba. No mu yobu sa zamu uyuasha. Uyuasha upi du ingole ise. Ujala lo omas kozi. Ugutu ya itati koling. Upi du kangi ngole. Upi du iwasha upi. Msa efika. Uyobu ikogi ile ili ngubo ya ke mso pe kwa. The biggest lie Satan says, says to you. Is that your tomorrow is guaranteed? The biggest lie he serves people of God to Satan, the enemy, is that your tomorrow is guaranteed, that you still have time, that you still can get married, earthly marriage, and live long with your husband and travel and be so happy. Satan doesn't care if you are so happy. So long as you don't attain the calling of God. So Satan will keep you all preoccupied with, with rugby and, and, and soccer and, and love and dating. And oh, it's about me, it's about us. That's why it would appear they sometimes it would appear they have less problems. Satan doesn't care. He he really doesn't. Why? Because it means they're not wearing their white gown, which is your calling. It means when the Lord comes, the groom comes on the clouds, they will be left behind because of boy, I can shop. Abanya have it on, but you now need a church. We faster. This morning I put on this dress. It was so glorious when I saw it, but I couldn't clip it. I had to ask this V. We have a thing about to fasty calling yako. Umundo tang na mento. Oh, um sabu baleke. Ufasu baningu. The sixth type of gospel, it's this one and the last one. The sixth type of gospel is the gospel of the stature of leadership. It's the gospel of the stature of leadership where the Lord anoints men through hardships. Go to Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 and 2. This is when this gospel of stature of leadership, this is when the Lord submits you to the school of the Spirit through sufferings and he prunes you 
Aglungi su Jesu. The gospel of the stature of leadership. Legi e gospel engenwa abantu who are prepared to ascend in spiritual rank. You cannot ascend in spiritual rank. Ungangenanga in this gospel. Let's look at scripture. But now they, thus says the Lord who created Jacob, Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel. Do you see that? Jacob was created, but Israel was formed. So this is the gospel. And to Jacob, but then he must be formed. He must go through the fire. He must go through many waters until Pumu Israel. Let the Bible, Jacob wrestled with God. Was a But when he was victorious, his name change to Israel. Have you received a name change in the spirit? No, Musa, you can't, you know. Oh, as a lawn, I. Is the same be so such a cop? Although he goes through the school of the spirits through the baptism of sufferings, but this is the promise of God. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine, Quebec. When you pass through the waters, there will be waters that want to engulf you. Tattoo music, tattoo motto, even your job, you get retracted. You will pass through the waters. But the promise in this gospel, I'll be with you. And when you are through the rivers, they will not overflow you. They will come rushing in like a flood. But the Spirit of the Lord shall raise up a standard on your behalf. My God, when you walk through the fire but you shall not be burned nor shall the flame scorch you you shall be like the three Hebrew boys looking fresh this is how you get anointed into being a frontline soldier in this kingdom through this gospel of the stature of leadership or attaining the stature of leadership. So it's not that you are sent to be a leader. You are still in ascension attaining and you don't attain leadership in the spirit unless you are baptized in the cup of suffering. Bangwele going to Jesuit at the garden of Gethsemane. At the oh, it pleases you. Let this cup pass from me. It was the cup of suffering because he was about to suffer for his call. Are you willing to lay it down on the cross for your call? Are you willing to drink from this cup? It's for those who say forward ever, backward never. I'm Sabuyendi. I might as well go. No man give you chakope. Give kuka. What I'm so kuka ngia pambili. It's the stature of attaining leadership. Every believer who wants to be somebody in Christ must go through it. Thinking I echo, you are scared of trials. Do you know the great tribe of Israel? God's chosen people. Do you know them? Do you know them? Anibaz. Do you know them? Niabaz. Uyazu, what's it Israel? As a great million. There were over a million people at the time they were in Egypt. Do you know? Where they originated from? They originated from a man named Jacob who was not scared to go through the processes of fire until in him it was birthed Israel. And the Lord said, you've been so faithful in these trials and tribulations. You are now no longer Jacob, you are Israel. And out of you, you shall be a father of millions. That's why there was a great nation, God's chosen people, called the Israelites. Whenever you get to this point, even things become named after you. Things no longer influence you. You start influencing things. You start influencing situations. You start influencing the economics. You start influencing government. You are sent in spirit. But I am saying go Jacob. go Israel. Are you ready to be formed through the cup of sufferings? The gospel of attaining the stature of leadership. Then the final gospel is what is called the gospel of the kingdom of God. That is the highest dimension of the gospel of the good news. It's called the gospel of the kingdom of God. 
where man is ruled by heaven's thrones, thrown, totally yielding to God, complying without question. The kingdom occupies your life. You cease to exist for yourself. This is where Paul says, it is no longer I that lives, but Christ in me. This is when the message and the purposes of the throne of God consume you so much. When you support a when you support a one. This is when a believer no longer walks around saying, here I am, it's Kanye, and I have heaven's backing. Mm -mm. This is when heaven goes forward and they say, yes, it's Peteban, it's Petu Kanye. This is when not only will you threaten Satan by your backing in God, but God threatens Satan using your name. <laughs> Few attain this few attain this, few get to this point where Amazulu, our temp, I'm tempile. It's no longer about Lord, do this for me. It's about Lord, what can I do for you? It's no longer about you receiving, but it's about you making sure the heavens receive through your calling. I was riding with one of the sons yesterday. What do you do for God? What I come to church, not to know. Coming to church is for your own benefit. You're not doing it for God. What does that mean? What do you do for God? And they could not answer me. And I said, Mfanuam, it's important that not only does God do for you, you must do for him. And everything he does for you is just a bantela, a bonus. It's no longer about what you can get out of it. It's no longer what you can get out of this ministry. And be okay with ngatoluto. Accept a job well done, Kanye. And when you get to that place, the Lord avails all resources to make sure you have all sufficiency. The gospel of the kingdom. What shall it be likened to? Matthew 13 verse 44. Saying, Val, I want you to see something. This is Jesus trying to illustrate what this kingdom looks like what the gospel of this kingdom looks like. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and he hid. And for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has, and he buys that field. He said, It is a mystery. He says it's like a man who finds a field, Bab Chulai, and there's treasures under it. Instead of saying, praise God, I can add to my wealth. No, he sells everything he has to buy this field. This man has now become mad. He's already found it is his. In other words, it's an atmosphere where you no longer just have Insindiso and your family. It's just him alone. Everything else can be added, but the whole point of your trajectory on earth is about him. It's a state of losing your mind, and it's only him that matters and his purposes. In Uncle Jesus at him, since the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers much violence, and violent people are taking it by force. It's a state where you see that I was called for this. I have suffered enough. Now I am anointed and I'm about to live in accordance with that God called me for. And nothing else matters. No money matters. No, not losing things matters anymore. It's just about him. No, no, no. It's just about him. No, 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 no. It's just It's no longer you going. David, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me as I dwell in the house. David had attained here because he was no longer chasing after goodness and mercy. He was chasing after his house. And it's the goodness and mercy that was chasing after him. The gospel of the kingdom of God. Saints of God, I present to you the seven levels 
of the gospel that the Lord wishes you to live in and attain. As in Kuluma, we are born now in Utuwei gospel. Today, my God, is a day of the Lord where he said, Kanye, I will catapult everyone to the next dimension. So whichever dimension of knowledge of the gospel you are in, in seven, today the Lord will catapult you or push you up to the next one until you reach the kingdom of God in its full measure. Can we stand on our feet? You can transition. May every person for one minute, one, two minutes, let's say two minutes, pray to your God and say, Lord, show me which level I am in. And the Lord will start showing you. And then when we pray together, you will feel a charge in your spirit. It will bubble up. It will bubble up until your womb is open and you birth out the new level in front of you. Ask the Lord, Lord, where am I? You can read your notes if you need a refresher of which gospels we are talking about. Am I still under the gospel of salvation? Am I under the gospel of victorious living? I'm victorious over trials. Am I only at gospel of prosperity where I just know material things and resources? Am I under the gospel of corporate function? Am I under the gospel of the high calling? Am I under the gospel of the stretch of leadership sufferings? Where am I? The Lord will show you. Somebody pray.
by praying to save time. I will only call those who say, you know what? I only know the gospel of salvation. Anything between until I'm just confused. I'll start by calling those. Thereafter, I'll mention every dimension, but you'll be where you are. You just put up your hand. Can I call those? In fact, it's two-faced. About two abandabas of fig. Oti angaze, to be honest. Gim kolo ngetlize yung gimvume ngomlo mo. Yes, ya kolo, I believe in God. But angaze ngime nge speed. No mangage ngammemeza ngambiza kota ngawa. And I would like the privilege and honor to say this prayer again. Kuza la abu chenga machi. Nkala beze. Beze pambidi. Urgently, I know, Nikona, there's three of you. Just come forward. It's your day, ma. It's your day. Shike telis, yeah. I guess always try to. The Lord is calling you today. Let me tell you, he didn't just bring you here to be in trials, senseless trials, pain, for no reason. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He needs you to ascend until you are his frontline soldier. But go and get Kala in the first level, the gospel of the message of salvation. Come into him, truthfully. Everyone who likes Allah's promises are If you wish to be counted, I always say this. This altar is prayed for in the name of Jesus. So if you wish to be counted in an altar call, you need to come to the altar. It doesn't work in the pews. You will repeat after me. You will repeat after me. I will say it in English so that everyone in front of me today can hear. Ninen Pambili. Some of you may have made this prayer, but you didn't understand what it meant. Some have never said it. Some did understand what it meant, but because of the trials and pains of life, you ended up regressing, going backwards. The Lord is pulling you today. Allah's promise is and repeats after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Having heard the good news that you our Lord and you save the Bible says God so loved me that he gave me the Lord Jesus that if I believe in him I will not perish but have eternal life in my heart I am convicted that Lord that Jesus is indeed Lord therefore in accordance with my belief, I confess with my mouth, in accordance with scripture, that the Lord Jesus is indeed Lord, Lord over all and King over all. I believe he died for me and that God raised him from the dead. And because of that and my belief in that, I am saved. Come into my life. Lord Jesus, transform me. Change my heart. Change my mind. Change my life. To look like you. To act like you. I surrender wholeheartedly to you, Lord Jesus. I thank you that from today onwards, I will never be the same. I am now born again. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, Sia God, Siba, Leshi, Ade, Siba Lima, Tiles, Yekedelisha, Asia Pacatala, Palacata, Pasia, Kedel, Parocos, Kate, Pepe, Kedel, Sipa, the Bella, Pepe, Sipa, Siake, La Pasia, Kedel, Papale, the Pepe, Kate, Isha Pacate, Asia Pacata, Isha Pele, Patole, Pele, Sipa, Pele, 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 Shake 
kapasi itapali palete is ya papa deshi is ya peli mato as your hotel es yete ipapeli papele papole papole peli ya podoshe atamata kata la brasa kata pasta ntaga jebre ketele ya pote peli ya pote peli ya pole peli ya pole peli ya kotosh kete ya kapali parekete is ya pole peli tale la protoko siete matole keshe kete is ya popokote is ya papakata la proko siete is ya pepete le pete is ya pepete kete siete in jesus name pastor isaac la prote is ya ita papatila ya papate la protole rakadali pale shakati siete ya kapate la prote ya manaka siete Jacatele prete pasta bombega ri prosikete ni prote shikate la propole pepete is ya pate skete e prato todo osie e tamante li pato e papata takatata ya katatata is ya pakatata is ya pakatata is ya pate sete la prosukate la pole pepete kete te mamula no mukoto la sekaya ke kama ka chesu everything holding them out we stand against it by the messless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth shapati pa to do osietele Jesus mighty name Pastor Ntlaga please ensure you get everyone's details we know all of them but make sure they see me after the service Thank you please help mom to go sit down no see for please help her until she sits down Now yeah yes Billy that I insist well the Lord insists I thought everyone would just put up their hands You you have not attained uh, the gospel into the full understanding of the gospel of corporate function lendi qondu ukuthini iqondu ukuthi awuka ka understand why mele uhlezo usenkonzweni ungalovu You don't understand some you go around you try this church try this one on Wednesday those who were here the lord was speaking to us ma about the church being his bride and <clears throat> i asked bab july as a married man and i said bab july would you be happy if mom july sleeps kwa july tonight sasa alale komunye muzi the other alale what no i can't that if christ is our groom and we are his bride uthini when ufika ungenela uphinduye kwelinye bandla uphinduye kule uphinduye lena ubuye uhlale khaya as your husband is there a husband who would be happy with a wife who enza jalo That means you have not understood the 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 the, the, the grace ukuthi behlangene if two touch and agree if so two zivumelana ukuthi sasa she gets a job she has to get it bobi bible lisho njalo if you are praying by yourself ekhaya and you struggle feeling his presence do you know a place that his presence is guaranteed it's in a corporate setting lehlangene kanje ngoba lithi ni bible ku Matthew 18:20 lithi oh mababili noma bathathu bebehlangene ngegama lakhe yena unathi You are still struggling with understanding why you need to be a church. You think you come to support. <laughs> you think you come to church to support. Yeah, let me go. So shame the pastor doesn't keep asking me where I am. Shame, let me go and get a bit motivated. You are a joker, ho. You are joking. You cannot be part of the kingdom of God. I.e. you cannot be part of Jesus Christ if you are not in a church. How prophet to conduct him? He says that church is his body. If you are not part of a church, you are outside of him. If you still struggle and you need the Lord to help you with that revelation, or you know it, but you just can't help yourself to live in accordance with that. Come forward, the Lord will help you today. Bafonde la bangcole bese ngokushesha. Oh thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord. of God 
we'll allow you a few more seconds so you can be helped. We are ding Ibanja We are ding by Ibanja. You need a place called home. By the church, you are able to partake in Christ because the church is Christ Himself, is the body. You can't say I left church, but I didn't leave Christ. That's a joke. The church is Christ. You know you struggle. Come forward. Okay, Lord, you've seen. Only this young man is come. All promises and the I'll pray for you. Zikele pesi le teli se. Shika peli si e teleti. Shala peli pesi e ti. Namasi le si le si te. Namasi le si le si te. Namasi le si te le te. I bind this veil that blocks the knowledge of Jesus. I bind this veil. I remove it. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. This veil that covers Jesus and you can't see him, I remove it. Come on, guys. Shapotos kete. Pele pesie etima matuna asie kete lisha. Shapatakas kitele. Brandush kete li baz ye kete li papote. Shapatas kete de betete. I remove this veil. Every demonic spirit. Sheke peli papote. Rakotete. You will leave him today. You will leave him today. He will see Jesus today. Rabro desketele papote. Lepreti kete. Lilong kwelem, lilong kwelem, lilong kwelem, lilong kwelem, lilong kwelem. Shia prokosi kete. Pena pupo tule. Zongi chalo se sita. Gika amalga jesu makadesh kete. Makodash ketele. Badosh ketele. Pepe te kete. Libra sike. At the count of three, you will leave him. One, two, three. Out! Shata kata ta 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 ta. Let him down. Shake a deli. The Lord is helping him. Shepe desye e deli. Patoko deli siya adi. Makundesh kete. Okay. The gospel of prosperity. You have not tapped into the atmosphere of wellness. That's what prosperity is. It's been great and Leleniako being well in your journey here on earth. Financially well, mentally well. You have not attained. To save time wherever you are. You said in your word, it is in your heart, you desire us to prosper as our soul prospers. In the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone whose hand is raised at this time, that their wellness may prosper, that their well-being, that they may be well, that their mind, their mental psyche may be well. I rebuke the spirit of anxiety. I rebuke rejection. In Jesus' name, I rebuke depression. The, 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 the spirit, the garment of being overwhelmed, of panic and anxiety. I rebuke you. I rebuke every spirit that sits in the mind. In Jesus' name, I rebuke every spirit, every demonic influence that influences their emotions to be unwell and to not prosper. I stand against it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I stand against the devourer that eats into their pocket. They are faithful tithers, faithful offerers, but yet the devourer is there. You know what? Under the sound of my voice, whoever, Lord, is subject to demonic torment financially, in Jesus' name, you will need to shout amen. It ends today. 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 Shabaka, katapa, katokos, kete, ipapete, kete, pekete, shepete, nikata, kata. I bow the devourer. Shekete, pekete. In Jesus' name. The last people I'll pray for today. 
the gospel of the high calling. You are not sure what you were called for. Or you have an idea, but you don't know how to implement and start working in it. You need the revelation of that gospel. Because the, the word of God is wealthy in making you understand. And, and it has technologies and methodologies of how to tap into your purpose. You need a revelation. It comes by revelation. Wherever you are, you may put up your hand. Lord, I need to know what I'm called for clearly. Lord, I now understand by the authors of scripture that I did not just come to earth for no reason or no purpose, but you had an errand for each and every one of us under the sound of my voice. You had a purpose, you have a plan. Lord, may you open eyes to see the purpose. Now this one, maybe let me go up a bit, because the Lord will mightily remove, little by belly, when Paul had scales in his eyes, he was still Saul, after encountering the Lord, he still had scales. It means you can encounter Jesus, but still have scales and not see. And it needed a man named, what was his name? Was it Ananias? What was, he had to come and pray for Paul. scales. So you are here, you genuinely love the Lord, you really do in your heart. But there are scales in your eyes, in the spirit. Today they'll fall off. Can someone help me? I need my call. And expect the Lord to work a wonder in your life. Manosia Adele. Gosengwele. In your word, Lord, there was once a blind man that you prayed for. You spit on his eyes and he said, I can see, but not clearly. I see men as trees and you were not happy. You had to pray for him again until he sees clearly. The Lord is not happy that you know your purpose in part. He wants you to know it fully. Let me tell you, no matter how old you are, you can start walking in purpose as of today. Let it by belly to God a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. Meaning what should have taken you 45 years can take you the next four years to attain. With God, nothing is impossible. If you need your call today, Paramis is under. Go say, go as their hands are raised, Lord, they want to know their call. They are looking unto you, Lord. They are beholding your glory and waiting for you to reveal that which you call them for. Let every blind eye see in the spirit. Let everyone blind in the spirit see in Jesus' mighty name. Let the veil be removed in the name of Jesus. Let I'll pray for a few more seconds. Some of you will see fire. If you see fire, what you are seeing is a new anointing. It will charge you up and you'll be able to function with power. Zabo teshkepe tize as ye pekete tekete ye pepe kesiye ita papa takata ye peke tila poto toko Lord let your fire come stronger shapo tesiye ita matele prete le prete makobe 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 le pote ye poto kete kope the peg rapos kete pandu katus kete ye pete te ye pete pete 
No matter where you are, whichever dimension of the gospel you are in, I declare and I declare as a prophet, may the Lord catapult you to the next dimension. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, ascend to the next dimension. Ascend to the next dimension. Let your family ascend. Let your finances ascend. Let all that concerns you ascend. In the name of Jesus. Can we give the Lord a shout? Can we give the Lord a shout? Who knows or has or knows a three-year-old? I keep seeing the age three. But that child has to be sick. There's someone, there's a, a, a sick three-year-old. There's a sick three-year-old. I saw this as we were driving and I forgot. I'm thinking about it now as I walk down the steps. Who knows a three-year-old that is unwell? I know who corner Bangwele. I know who corner. All those digestive issues, Yapel, Shapatata, Sakata, Pipepekete, Shata. Leka Prasa. Can the whole church pray in Jesus' name? Can we all pray? Let's thank the Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Let's get her here. Shani pros getani de sonta. Shade kosaya de shunde de desu. Kota. Let us all pray. Let us all pray. Let us thank the Lord. Le mahasaya le le prosende gosaya. Open your mouth and praise the Lord. Shade de sana na kota le dosa. Sada la brosa le brokata. Zedege zedele le bradosa. Thank him. Thank him. Kitalia prasande le broka, zede de 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 bre salama haya, le kataria tora prasenda, ika tora te 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 te. Thank him, somebody. Thank him. Lio halia rie torie torie ke, katora mahasaya, rotoko shadanaya, rakata ta ta ye terebesa, kanana na ye hesa, la broske toli ba ye te. Open your mouth and bless the Lord. Lika tora kaya liko desa, lika desa ni desa ni desa ni desa. Lebratos katole mande lebroske, lige bebe shani mama yande. Ilo prasa ya kataya, lika tete prasa ya lika desa. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Lika shaya, lika desa, ila pras katole desa ya. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Isn't he good? Sala broskete, ufane bizimongo, ufane lupaga nyiswa. He alone is worthy of all the praises. Kata da 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 ya teteke mo shada da ye. Hey, sala bo, sala bo, shada broske. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Monge, 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 chesu, monge. Kana mahaya nina mosa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, lika da ba shana mana na shene ne ne ke de shene. Ila ba shana na ye ke te te. Shene bros ke te lima hasaya. Kandoli bros ke te. The Lord is worthy to be praised. Ufanelu mongwa. Ufanelu sugiswa. Ufanelu paganyiswa. Ukulukulu. Siamu lela chehofa. Siamu onka. Shada la 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 la. Satelidehe. Kendele preske chole prada da 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 so. Kotari katate kata. Nikato shadiye ketosa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mbonge, mbonge, mbonge. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Sia bonga bazalwane utheti luthi kuglenda hallelujah. We know like higher every time God talks to us and speaking to us we come with a thanksgiving offering. Hallelujah. Amen bazalwane. Ngoba izwi likankulunkulu lina amandla. Hallelujah. Uma ulthathi izwi is able to save you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen bazalwane. Sizo sondele kameni ka Jesus. Uthe zwini like I sent my word to heal your diseases. So the same way that was spoken today is able to help you in time of need. Hallelujah. So come and tap, come and make this word personal. Come and make this word that was uttered here today about the types of gospels. We were blessed by Zalwan. We are no longer stuck in the gospel of salvation. There are other forms of gospels that we are enlightened to today. Hallelujah. With that in mind, Zalwan, let us come. And say, Lord, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. La mashata le kadosa le presa ne kati ya te mosha ne le proske le proske te desa shabi le proske te naha le teske te te proske to pane shome teske te te le te 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 sa te 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 sa le te. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kados, Kados, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kados, Kados. Come on, choir. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. You ancient Zion's king, Kados, Kados, come on, then. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. You ancient Zion's king, Kados, Kados, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. You ancient Zion's king, Kados, Kados. Amen, Bazalana. Right at this time, we will call upon my way to Asundele for a benediction in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We've come to the end of our service. May we all stand to receive the benediction. Amen. I pray you were blessed. I pray the Lord spoke to you. I pray the atmosphere of the blessing has located you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, except for our guests, but everyone else, on Wednesday. Amen. We are meeting for the midweek refill service. It's a full service, Bangwele. Amen. And I'm inclined to say, Ma, the Wednesday service is, uh, uh, if you want to experience the presence of the Lord in a serious way, if the Wednesdays. The midweek refill. Amen. The enemy said to you, ah, I'll just go on Sunday. I'm sure it's just a small prayer thing on Wednesday. Mm -mm. The devil is a liar. It's, it's him saying that to you. He wants to keep you from being in Christ. Amen. 
Will we be here? Will we be here? Hallelujah. Amen. Let us promise and receive the blessing of the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May he grant you joy, peace, and prosperity. May he bless you. May you see his goodness in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus. I stand against any arrow of the enemy against you. Against your family. Against your possessions. In Jesus' mighty name. Let every arrow be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not die. Your finances will not die. No one in your household will die. Everybody will live and declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. I stand again. Thank you.